Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. for you guys. I recently went to a friend's wedding and I wore this gorgeous pink Indian outfit designed by my friend Manali. And this was the makeup look that I did. Um, a lot of people were asking me what products I used to get this look and so I thought I'd do a little makeup tutorial for you. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to know how I got this look, then keep watching. I have already primed my skin with the Dior Forever and Everwear. This is my favorite primer because it's so hydrating and just keeps your makeup looking fresh for so much longer. For my foundation, I'm using NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Syracuse. This is another one of my all-time favorites. I'm gonna go ahead and spot conceal with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. I primed my lids using another NARS concealer in the shade Biscuit. I did this entire eye look using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Starting with Hot Spot, which is the lightest shade in the palette, I'm going to use it to set my concealer. And then I'm going to go in with Juicy, just in the crease. I'm using Turn On on the inner corners of my eye, which is a gorgeous champagne colour. Before dipping into the next colour, I'm going to spray a synthetic brush with a little Fix Plus. This just enhances the glitter to give your eyeshadow a more foiled look. Keeping with the rose gold theme, I'm going to sweep Bang Bang all over my eyelids. I'm going to go in with Ambitious on the outer corners of my eye. Because I'm doing a strong lip, I wanted the eyes to look really soft, so I'm just going to really buff out those edges. Make sure you wet your brush with a little bit of Studio Fix Plus or whatever setting spray you normally use because that makes so much of a difference and then I'm gonna go back in with Juicy I'm going to add a little bit of the shade Devilish just to deepen up the outer corners of my eye Going back in with my NARS concealer in the shade Biscuit to highlight my under eye areas. I like to start blending from the outer edges and then work my way in. And I'm going to set it using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. You want to set the concealer under your eyes as soon as possible to avoid creasing. Dipping back into the powder with the fluffy brush, I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm going back in with Juicy and sweeping it over my lower lash line. I feel like this just softens up the look even more and also helps to disguise under eye creases. I'm 
I'm then gonna tight line my upper and lower lash lines. I like to give my brows a quick brush before filling them in just to get rid of any extra foundation or powder. For my contour, I'm going to use the NYX Professional Makeup Palette, Love Contours All. I'm not sure if this is still available, but if it is, I will pop it in the description box below. So, sticking to the rosy theme, I decided to use Whole Lot of Love by MAC. And I'm just going to sweep it on the apples of my cheeks and blend it up to my cheekbones. You just want to hit all the high points, cheekbones, forehead, bridge of the nose, your cupid's bow. You can also highlight your chin if you want to. I'm then going to use a Sigma E65 angle brush to highlight my brow bones. So, for this look, I lined my lips with Night Moth by MAC. When I do a dark lip, I always like to fill them in with the lip liner I'm using. This just makes your lipstick last much longer and if your lipstick does fade away, the lip liner stays on. For my lipstick, I used the Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in High Drama by MAC. I really love this color. It's so matte and bold and it just really makes a statement. Another great thing about this lip color is that it does not smudge or transfer after it dries. It's very easy to mess up when using a dark lip color and I like my lip line to look really really sharp. So I use a little bit of concealer on a small angled brush just to clean up the edges. I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of Fix Plus setting spray. This just melts and infuses all the powders and colours together. You can go ahead and add false eyelashes to this look if you want, but I'm just going to be using mascara. So the best way to apply mascara in my opinion is to start right at your lash line and twist the brush forward while closing your eye, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I know this looks crazy but I promise you it works. I've just found that this method helps to apply the product evenly but also lifts your lashes and makes your eyes look a lot bigger. Whatever product is left on the wand, I'm going to apply to my lower lash line. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.